Hi everyone, it's Sailor Mimsy. Today I'm just going to be showing you guys the notebooks that I used for planning and journaling and just tracking for 2016. And I think it's going to... 2017 is going to be pretty different. So we can start with the planning stuff because that's... I just cho randomly chose that. Okay, so for planning I used this. So this is that Bando, or is it Bandu? I don't know how to pronounce it. That uh, calendar planner. I used that for, oh, I think it was from August of last year until November. So August 2015, I believe it started till November, November 2016. And as you can tell, it's a lot skinnier because I archived every few months. I think it was every four months. I would cut it out and archive it and put it away. But for December 2016, I moved into one of my smaller binder planners. So it's a huge size com size difference. This is, I believe, like 8 by 10 or something like that. It's huge. So it didn't fit in all the bags that I would use. Um, most of the time, I would write down my daily tasks on a post-it and stick it in my purse. Or stick it in like a notebook that I have in my purse if this wouldn't fit into it. Then yeah, for December I was into this because I needed more room. I needed to carry more of this info around with me because I have in here my Christmas list, like, you know, gifts to give people. And December is just always a super busy month. So I needed more room for my daily stuff. That's why I moved into this. That worked out pretty well. The only thing I didn't like about moving into this was, uh, at least with the coil notebook, you know, you can open it and then let's see. you open it and just, you know, turn it around. So I'm just going to cover this up because I have information on there. So yeah, you could fold it over and you could write. I'm right-handed, so this, this setup was good. And even writing on this side being right-handed was okay. These coils weren't too in the way. So at least for this, you can... I'm just going to flip to... Page. There's something private on the inside there. Yeah, so if you want to write in here, you can at least open this up, take out the page you're writing on, and then write on a flat surface from there. But then there's times, especially when you're shopping, where you don't really have the space and like the ability to just do that. So getting like writing on this side especially was really hard because the rings would get in the way. But I like this just because all the sections were separate, whereas this it was just you know, it had a month view and the weekly view. And there was like, you know, two page note section at the beginning of each month, but it just it didn't feel like enough. So for 2017, as some of you guys already know, I'm moving into a Hobonichi planner. I'm trying out the A6 size. And that's the smallest planner I've ever used. So we'll see how that goes. And it's very different too because it's, it's just like a notebook. There's no rings or coils or bounds. It's not coil bound or anything. Uh, the other thing I used this year is just this really cheap $1 pocket calendar thing. I used it last year as well. It's just it's very basic. It, it shows, I don't want to open it because there's private stuff on the pages, but yeah, so you open it up and there's it's like one month on two pages and on that I would just write my symptoms like if I would have because I get a lot of headaches and migraines and stuff so I would use this to track that or if I was starting to feel sick with like a sore throat or anything it would all go in here this is full now because this is a two year planner I think I got it from Michaels for a dollar or a dollar fifty and then I just decorated covered up the original cover and put these different things on it so the next thing I have is this really cute little hardcover. Uh, it's like a it's like a calendar planner type thing, but it only has a week on two pages. There's no calendar view. Well, there's a little tiny. I'll show you guys. Just in the bottom here, there's like a little super tiny calendar. And what we used this for this year was um, oh I can't even show you guys because like I didn't want to. So the writing, uh, 
Okay, well, as you can see, it's small. So each day, since it's a week on two pages, each day was just like, you know, a little section about that size. But every day, my husband and I, we don't take turns, but we just, like one of us would do it, depending. But we would write a little, a little Sadie moment, like our dog Sadie, because she does like the weirdest, cutest things. And we want to remember that stuff. So every day we would write down a little Sadie moment. So let's go random page in March. Okay, so I went up to random page in March. March 2016th, Friday the 11th, my husband wrote, You know it's spring when Sadie refuses to pee slash poop in the yard. She has a wonderful time splashing around in puddles and walking up onto snowbanks looking for her pissing grounds. <laughs> my husband wrote that. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. That's hilarious. So yeah, we finished this. Today's the 1st of January 2017. So we finished this yesterday and I'm really excited to read through this. Uh, two years ago in 2014, my husband had a planner made by Moleskin that was similar to this setup that he didn't want to use anymore. So I ended up doing the same thing as this. I wrote down a few sentences about something that we did that day or something he did that day, like little moments. And then at the end of the year, I gifted it to him. And he still has it. He like reads through it from time to time. And it's really cool looking back on that. It's, I don't know, I guess it's like a really easy way to journal, I guess, like, you know, short journaling. I'm not sure if there's like a name for that or anything. For fun, I just like to write little, little book reviews that I have. So I do have an app where I track the books that I read, but then I don't like writing my reviews online just because I feel like, you know, my thoughts and opinions and stuff on the books that I've read are like, I don't know, I just feel kind of, I guess, shy sharing that stuff online. I know there's privacy settings where you can adjust it, but I just don't want to keep that on the internet. So I've been writing it all in this notebook. As you guys can see, it's House Baratheon from Game of Thrones. It's actually a really pretty notebook. The inside has that. And then there's just information there. And then, um, the paper is just lined. So obviously I haven't finished it yet, so I think it's going to be a couple of years till I complete this. I think I've... I started writing in here... Let's see, I started in May. Oh, where's my other one? I had another one of these, actually. Yeah, I started in May of 2016 because I filled up the other book that I was using to track. I don't know where it is now, actually. It was like a little coil-bound book. Coincidentally, also covered in deers. Like they had a deer print. Well, I know this isn't a deer. So yeah, I would write the title of the book, the author, and just like the general genre of the book. The year it was published, number of pages, when I started reading it, when I finished reading it, and then depending on how much the book really moved me, it would be lots of writing. Or if I had any complaints about it, again, lots of writing. And then there's some books where I just like write a couple of sentences. So this, yeah, will be used in 2017 and beyond. It's bugging me now. I don't know where the second one or the first book for the year that I had for that is. Okay, and then I have my written journals. There is. Oh my gosh! I just realized I have another one. I don't know where it is though. So. This is bad. Yeah, I have a written journal from May to. Let's see when this starts. May to April. I don't know where it is. But this one is. A very simple, it's a pretty notebook, just lined, and it's from April to September 2016. And then this one I'm still writing in, it's also lined. It was actually sent to me by my friend Maya. Let's open it to a blank page, so it's just plain lined. I've been writing in this one. September till now. 
yeah, during November and December, I didn't write in here as much as I usually do, just because school was keeping me pretty occupied as well as the holidays. Those are my writing journals. Oh gosh, you can tell I'm totally not prepared for this video, so I'm missing two notebooks from this pile right now. And then last, you guys have seen uh, my Hobo Nietzsche's for the year. This was, okay, including this journal. This is the entire year. Oh no, I messed up again. <laughs> Sorry, there's a few more of these inserts actually. I am totally not prepared. Yeah, so July, January, January, February, and July, I used the Traveler's Notebook inserts. So this one's July. January and February are probably in my archive pile in the other room. And then I have these two guys. And for 2017, I'm moving back into like a traveler size, the Traveler's Notebook size, with the Tomo River paper in the insert. Uh, yeah, so today will be my first day using that. I'm very excited. I just noticed that Sadie's been snoring pretty consistently. I wonder if you guys can hear her. <laughs> but yeah, so just some thoughts on this. It was a really interesting journey using Hobonichi for journaling. Last year I was using the Traveler's Notebooks 002 insert as well as I believe the Mikhail Reuse notebooks that I took apart. So when I got to journaling in the last week of December, it was really hard to to write in there. At, there were some times where I would, like you know, fold the notebook over, just because the binding was really awesome. So I'd fold it over and then stick a an elastic around to help keep the pages down while I wrote. That was usually when I was when I journal like on the go, like when I'm not at home. That's what I'd end up doing. That helped a lot. So yeah, these will be all archived. I mean, they'll be put in the other room and they'll be bound together and labeled with 2016 along with the rest of the 2016 stuff from this year. Uh, this probably will just keep up to read more on. This is going to go back with the rest of that stuff. And yeah, so it's pretty much it. I still have yet to go through and prep my, finish prepping my planner, my Hobonichi planner for 2016. It's going to be really weird because it's so different from any setup I've ever used before. But I'm very excited because I wanted more space in the, you know, day per, like have a day per page thing going on. So we'll see how that goes. I've never had that before. It's usually like a week for two pages. And I'm hoping to combine, you know, tracking my, my symptoms and moods and stuff, as well as like my lists and things that I keep, which was what I was doing in here a lot, like putting it all in one place. So that'll be really interesting. It'll be a fun challenge. So for things like my written journal, like just the all writing journal and for, you know, tracking the books that I read, I don't really have a preference in that for notebooks for that kind of thing because I like trying different kinds of papers uh, lined, not lined, graph paper, blank, like whatever. I have a stash of notebooks that I use, that I have that people like have given me or have bought because it looked interesting and I just go through there and that's how I choose what notebook to use next for you know for other things other than journaling and planning. So that's it for today's video. Um, are any of you guys going to be switching up or changing your your planning techniques or journaling or anything? Or are you going to be trying anything new? Uh, if you want, you can leave a comment in the section below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!